Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a rapture dream that I've been granted permission by our sister in Christ to post on our channel. Let's now see what she experienced in her dream. Hello. I uh, have it on my heart to share one very short rapture dream and one um, longer, much more vivid rapture dream. Um, I had the first of these dreams. Uh, I wish I recalled the date, but it was earlier in 2023. And um, I think maybe, I, I can't be the only one, but if you know of the rapture, then, you know, I think that at some point we think, um, we have concerns about maybe who will be left behind or, you know, if we will be with our loved ones. And um, so I, I think I was in a season, a period of life where I was really um, thinking about those things. And so um, I had a short dream that I was with my family, my, my just immediate family, my husband and my three sons. Um, and in this dream, we were, um, it was very normal. We were walking in um, the parking lot after an event. I think like in my dream, I just knew that it was after like a major league baseball game. We were walking through the parking lot back to our vehicle and just having very normal interaction. And then um, it was light out. So, I mean, I don't know what time of day it was, but um suddenly I just, I felt myself being lifted. Um, and I didn't sense that my boys were with me at that moment, but I remember looking to my husband and um, seeing that he was being lifted up with me. And I was so relieved and I just, I grabbed his hand and we were being lifted together. Um, but we were kind of lifted onto like another plane, if that makes any sense. Um, and then I realized it was almost like we were in a shopping mall. It was very strange. But then I realized as I looked, the five of us were together. We were all together. Um, and we were walking. People were running around us, but we were all walking together. And... Um, like I said, it was a short dream, but I feel like it was almost like a little wink from the Lord to comfort me and, and letting me know that we will be together, you know, however that may be. But um, so that was the first dream that I had. And then the second dream that I had was in July of 2023. And... Um, I was, I was home by my, well, I say by myself, but my husband was away and that night. And, um, so I was praying and I was just asking Jesus to, you know, protect me and the boys while we were home by ourselves. And, um, I, I don't know about anyone else, but I've grown very weary of dreaming. Like, I feel like sometimes my dreams are, I don't know, I hate to admit this, but like disturbing a little bit. And um, so I don't look forward to dreaming and I don't like it uh, at this point, but I was really praying and I've, I've actually had some kind of frightening experiences in my home um, that happens at like, I would say really after I got saved, but I was just feeling very uneasy and so, my prayer that night was for, you know, the Lord to protect us and to protect my dreams. Cause at that point I had dreamed something that was really, um, staying with me and that was really unsettling. And so, um, you know, that night I, uh, I dreamt that I was in the, in a car with my husband and, um, I know that my mom, was in the dream with us in the car and we were it was you know 
one of those scenes where it's very familiar and you know where you are, but it's not at all like it is in real life. So we're driving through this neighborhood that I'm familiar with. And um, I'm always looking up at the sky in real life, uh, as I think a lot of us are. But in this dream, I am, we're driving through this neighborhood and it's dark. And I'm looking up at the clouds and I am saying to my husband and my mom, like, do you guys see how crazy these clouds are? Like they were different colors, almost like neon colors and um, just crazy shapes. And at, some of them almost had words written in them. I wish that I could have made out what the words were or would have known what they said, um, but I don't recall that. And um and then some of them actually turned into cartoons, like illustrations. Um, but anyway, so because I'm seeing this in the clouds, I keep looking at the sky and we're, go we're going through this neighborhood and we get to our destination and we're at the house that um, my parents had when I was young, although in my dream it wasn't the house, like you know how those things go. Um, but there was almost like a gathering, like a small type of party in the driveway. And again, it, it was nighttime. And um, some of the people there I knew very well. Some of them I didn't know at all. Some of them were just like acquaintances, people that I haven't seen in a very long time. Um, but during this party, this gathering, um, I'm looking, I keep looking up at the sky because I'm just like, does any, does, doesn't anybody else see these clouds? Like, this is kind of crazy. And um, as I'm looking, I see this like pinprick hole and it just starts to grow bigger and bigger and bigger in the sky. And I'm saying to my husband, like, do you see this? Do you, do you see this happening? And, and you know, as I'm saying to, to, to the people around me, like, do you see this? And people are like, yeah, like just very casual. Like there's nothing weird about it. Um, and as the hole gets bigger, all of a sudden this alien spacecraft, like a spaceship um, comes down and is so close that I can touch it. And it looks so real. It looks like, I mean, I've never seen an alien spacecraft, but as we might imagine from like movies and TV and, and you know, all that good stuff, um, it looks very real. But as I reached out to touch it, because it, like I said, it was so close that I could touch it, I could, I knew that it was fake. I could tell that it was like, um, almost like a paper mache or, um, yeah, just something that you would see hanging from like the ceiling in a fifth grade classroom or something like that. Um, looked real, but I knew that it was a deception and I was going around to, you know, my dad was there, my sister was there. Um, and I was saying to them, like, do you guys see this? Like, this is, it's, this is how they say it's going to happen. This is, it's, it's happening. Like, and I didn't say in my dream that Jesus was coming back. I just knew that that in my spirit that that was happening. And I don't know why I couldn't get my words out to my family in my dream hindsight thinking about that. You know, like I do actually have trouble sharing these things in, in real life. And so maybe that was part of it. But, you know, in my dream, I just kept saying it's happening. It's happening. This is how they say it's going to happen. Do you see this? And um, you know, my sister, my, my one sister, she started crying and I and and I said, what's what's wrong? And she said, the, the, you know, dad is the only father that we need. And I was saying to her, um, no, you don't understand. Like, it's happening and this is how they say it's going to happen. Um, and then to, I went to my dad and I was like, dad, do you see it's happening? It's happening. And he was just very, he was having a conversation. He was very casually like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then I had gone to my mom in the dream and I said, mom, like, do you see this? It, it's happening. And she said, oh yeah, I know I'm going home. And, um, there were just like, my interaction with my mom was almost comical. Like, like I said, we were in this party setting and she had got all this food 
ordered all this food and she was like, man, I have all this food and nobody's eating it and it's gonna go to waste. And I, I was like, oh, I'll take some home. Um, so that was kind of silly, I guess. But um, I looked over to the opposite side of where that spacecraft, I guess, had come down from. And I saw all of these like lines, like almost like matrixy type of lines in the sky like like almost it was like a simulation like we were in a simulation is the best way that I can describe it and um I'm looking at that and I keep saying do you like I was just baffled that nobody else saw this no or that they were seeing it but they weren't concerned like it wasn't a big deal and I was just like what is happening and like I said I was looking away from where the spacecraft was and as I looked back all of a sudden there was a carport over top that hadn't been there before and so as I'm looking out over the carport all of a sudden I see the Statue of Liberty just like creeping over creeping over and then at that point, all of a sudden, I just shoot, like shoot so fast, get sucked up into the air. Um, and the setting of the dream, I think I mentioned, it was dark, like it was nighttime. And as I was going up, I broke through light, like it was light. And there were other people up there and I remember looking and seeing there was a girl that I went to college with, which was very strange. Um, and, but anyway, I saw her and I just, I was elated. I was like, I was so giddy. I just thought, oh my God, it's really happening. Like, like the rapture is happening and I felt it like it was exhilarating I was filled with so much joy and I was just so excited and I was just in my spirit just saying Jesus 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 like I was so excited so excited to see Jesus um and then what happened next was I I didn't wake up but I came out of that in my dream so I was still asleep I came out of that in my dream and then when I came out of that I was sitting at a uh, at like a diner like at a roadside diner like a pancake house or something and I was sitting at the counter and I looked down and there was just like a plate of pancakes sitting in front of me and I was by myself there were other people in the diner but I was dining by myself and um, I just looked around and it was just the most normal mundane scene of me being at this roadside diner alone and then i woke up in my bed and i was like i would be lying if i said i was not disappointed i was like oh man like it felt so amazing um to be lifted like so fast to be lifted up like that just sucked up into the air um and the excitement that i felt and i was i was really disappointed that <laughs> the rapture really didn't occur um but uh and so that was the end of my second dream and i just knew in that dream that you know there were alien there was an alien spaceship and there were all these things happening in the sky and um but i knew that it was a deception um just in my in my spirit in the dream i knew that it wasn't real um and i don't know what that means i mean i've heard other people say that you know that's how they will explain when millions of people disappear um and so i you know i haven't had heard uh, you know like many of you, I've, I've listened to other rapture dreams and um, I haven't heard many like mine and they're all very different. So it piques a lot of curiosity, I'm sure, in all of you as it does in me. Um, but all that to say, uh, he's coming. He's coming back and um, I'm making this 
because it's just been on my heart that I, I do, I have a hard time sharing. Um, and I feel articulating and, and expressing the urgency and, um, just sharing the gospel. You know, I have such strong belief and love for Jesus, but, um, I have a hard time. And so I pray about that and I pray for all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. So if you, uh, you know, could have it in your heart to pray for me that, you know, I'm able to get a little bit brave, braver, um, and share these things <clears throat> to more people. But, um, this is my start because it's really been on my heart to, to make a video like this. And so, um, I don't know who this will find, but I pray that it blesses you and, um, yeah, he's coming guys. I'm so excited and, you know, hopefully I'll see you all soon in the clouds. God bless you.